I've arrived at some sort of mining facility. It looks abandoned. Judging by our tracks, I've almost caught up with Gretchen. It is missing the fourth wheel. Let's have at it. Debris. People keep losing helmets all the time. Here we go. Beverly, the time has come. I am stranded, trapped deep underground in some sort of godforsaken cave. It's freezing cold. I can hardly see a thing. Whoever finds this recording, please hand the cassette tape to Miss Beverly. And now this. Hello? A 
away with it. Good thing there's no monkey wrench involved in this puzzle. There you go. Water, march. That's a pretty deep drop. I can't even see the floor from here. There's gotta be some water down there somewhere. I've heard that cave fishing is a thing, but I'm really not in the mood right now. Oh, you finally made it! I almost thought you'd never come. Look at you, covered in dirt. Did you stumble all the way here through the old mines? Uh, I don't have to answer that. Anyway, you're not going to believe what just happened to me. Yeah, I guess you're right. You gotta tell me every single detail when we have the time. They sure have big doors around here. It looks like they really wanted to make sure there was no trespassing.
We need to get that door open. And again. What's that over there? Only a flock of bats. Or is it a swarm? A herd? A gaggle? Please light up these symbols. Wow, these look like Neolithic cave paintings. Who would have guessed? A group of stickmen fallen asleep around some sort of hexagon. Tenhauser, this is sensational. Fallen asleep? Interesting. Maybe these inscriptions are somehow connected to the opening mechanism. Some sort of photonic reception, perhaps. What do you make of this? Weird. Tenhauser, these are ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. What are they doing here? I'm afraid I don't know too much about them. This pictogram on the left could mean door or gateway. It's followed by the symbol of death. Doesn't that spark your curiosity as well? Sesame! Could you point the light in this direction? Ah, interesting. This looks like a Latin inscription. Hang on to your head. Interpreted freely, this translates to Path of No Return. <laughs> Hogwash, you Romans. Did you notice that other little light turning on? What's that over there? You're not gonna believe this. These are Germanic runes, my special field of interest. Huh, this one roughly translates to... <clears throat> Be gone, stranger. For all you may find here is certain death. There, another light. Can we take a look at the graffito again? Now there are five lines. What does it mean? This looks promising. This cave has obviously been visited by explorers for millennia. Isn't it strange that all of them left warnings on the wall? And whoever built this gigantic vault wanted to make sure that only a human with the right set of knowledge could open it. Maybe long after its architects ceased to exist. I assume this is why they utilized all of these different writings. They literally left the code on the wall. In case of an emergency? Remarkable. Yes! Let me find the light switch first.
What an enormous compound. Let's take a look around. This is exciting. Did you see that pretty large particle accelerator? Wow. I brought back order to the universe. I stumbled upon an impressive model of our solar system, yet curiously, it displays our nine planets in disorder as if there was a disturbance in the interstellar balance. Much like an event known to the ancient Greeks as ekpyrosis, the catastrophic imbalance of the universe. Whether this is a foreshadowing of things to come, or the device is simply broken, I cannot say. To be honest, it's hard to say if it means anything at all. We didn't even have anything remotely this size at my university. Memory overflow. Hello? Anybody there? Of course. Another locked door. Errol. Memory overflow. Of course. The door is blocked. Errol. Memory overflow. Memory overflow. Sixty four kilobytes of main memory on isolinear chips. Memory Good overflow. Lord. Gretchen, this is the future. Seems you have a RAM module loose. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Please identify yourself. Hi, you can call me Hans. I do not recognize you, Hans. Why does it matter? I am only allowed to grant access to authorized personnel. I am Hans, and I defragmented your memory. I do not recognize you, Hans. I am only allowed to grant access to authorized personnel. This isn't going anywhere, Tannhauser. We need brute force. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Please identify yourself. I can't see you. Who's talking there? My name is Barbarossa 2000. I am the guardian of the station. 
Can't you just open this door for me? Not possible. This isn't going anywhere, Tannhauser. We need brute force. How long have you been here? 16 years, 304 days, and 9 hours. Who constructed you? I was developed and built by a Dr. von Strack and Dr. Rumler. I am property of the Millennium Cooperative. What kind of station is this? This station was built by the Millennium Cooperative. I may only give this information to authorized individuals. It's me, Dr. von Streck. Negative. Your voice patterns don't match Dr. von Streck's. I'm telling you, these things are of no use at all. How do I become authorized? Not possible. I cannot authorize you, since I do not know you. Aren't you feeling lonely? All on your own down here? I am patient, by nature. My developers assured me the station was only temporarily shut down. What if something happened to Dr. Rummer? And he could never continue with his work. Dr. Rumler promised me we would start working again very soon. Dr. Rumler is my friend. Why would he lie to me? Maybe they weren't confident to tell you the truth. Your point is illogical. If what you said was true, how could I rely on statements made by humans? That is the point. You simply can't. Overheating in segment B23 imminent. chance you might consider letting me through? I am very sorry. I can only grant access to authorized personnel. Ah! You may wait here, if you wish. I would most certainly enjoy your company, yet I may only allow passage to subjects of acquaintance. That's what I get for helping you? I am sorry. I may only grant access to authorized personnel. Any chance you might consider letting me through? I am very sorry. I can only grant access to authorized personnel. Ah! You may wait here, if you wish. I would most certainly enjoy your company, yet I may only allow passage to subjects of acquaintance. But you do know me. Yes, you are, Hans. Imagine the possibility of Dr. Romler never coming back, and I'd be your only friend. Are you my friend, Hans? Your best and only true friend. You make me happy. You two are adorable. Get a room. Now that you know me, would you please let me through? But if I let you pass, I will be alone again. Will you come back and pay me a visit? Scout's honor. Access granted.
It's the Saturn portal. You have no idea, do you? What do you mean? Quantum physicist ridiculous. Is, is that a gun? Get off of that boy. I can see no reason for violence here. Hey, hey, hey. Is that really necessary? You too, Bambi. Move over there. Are you serious? After everything we've been through? You're not gonna stand in my way. You've had your chance, Tenhauser, but you had to follow me around like a puppy dog. Now that's what you get. But it was you that had the idea to come here. Shut your pie hole. Please, you don't understand. I need help. What kind of a dog are you? A bunch of hapless maggots, that's what you are. Standing in front of the Saturn portal without any clue. You're staying here, chums. You may as well bid farewell to this stupid clunker while you're at it. It's been getting on my nerves from the beginning. No. Gretchen would play such a wicked game on me. Now, this is not what I wanted either. Who are you? And what are you doing here anyway? Hey, that was you, last night in my room. Calm down, calm down, please. You must have a lot of questions. You bet I do. But first, we should try to get out of this predicament. I assume you have a plan on how to open the door. You seem to know what you're doing. She called it a Saturn portal. What was she talking about? It's a metaphor. Actually, it's just an ordinary quantum portal. You can travel to different realities, distant stars and galaxies. That is where I come from. Who are you anyway? My name is Lazarus Tuft, and I hope you'll excuse my late introduction. I'm a traveler, if you will. And where are you from? From the other side? See, and I know that's kind of a lot of information, but I've been stranded here for some time now. I desperately need to leave. Get back home. Please don't get me wrong, I really like it here, but I need to go. If I don't, I will die. Simple as that. As you probably suspected, you winning that lottery was part of my arrangement to get you here. Please, go on. The problem is that you can't control the portal unless you have the right piece of technology. At home we have a device called a quantum discriminator. You can buy it at any convenience store, but I certainly don't know how to build one myself. This is why I needed your formula, your calculations, to tune in. There are dangers, though. You can disintegrate the whole planet if you aren't careful. Which is what she's doing right now. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Taft. Tannhauser. Let's talk about stealing my notes. Yes, that was me. Believe me, I wouldn't have needed to if everything had gone according to my plan. I wanted to ask for your help, but then she surprised me. I know taking your journal wasn't right, and I'm sorry about it. I would have returned it, I promise. What was it you wanted for my journal? They're really just notes, and a few doodles. I needed it to tune into the right quantum frequency. See, I'm just an ordinary traveler. I know next to nothing about quantum mechanics. At least not enough to control this portal. You're talking crazy talk. This is not the best time to go into too much detail. A 
Okay, okay, but what's my role in all of this? I needed your help. You were the last piece of the puzzle. When I saw your article in Science Today, I was 100% sure you were the right guy for me to help me get home. Good lord. So all of this is real? Do you know who built the portal? This station was built by the Millennium Cooperative. I believe something went wrong when I came out of the portal. They took me with them and abandoned the station soon afterwards. But they certainly didn't construct the portal. Who did then? Who knows? Probably a natural phenomenon? A geological vortex? A high-intensity region? A cosmic G-spot? It is ancient. There is a large network, like wormholes connecting different dimensions. Enough talk. Let's move. This is getting boring. We are all puppets on a string, Mr. Tenhauser. 